Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Great. Echo available from Playback nearby. what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they... Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents.
Warning. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're gonna try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So, keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle, out. Signature of explosives detected. Confirmed. It's Napalm B, all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe.
terminal. Let's take him out! Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sara JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves, yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. Dr. Candle, sampling team, can you hear me? Patel here. Go ahead, Doctor. Oh, Lieutenant, good. Listen, I need you guys to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale, then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, Doctor, but maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the boss is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? Just focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, you'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll get it all worked out. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species we're talking about. Copy that, Doctor. Hotel out.
know the situation. It's too late for these people here. They're dead, every one of them. But it's not too late for us. If we do what we gotta do, it might not be too late for the rest of the country. So go to work. Agents, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent.
I think somebody's out there. What, you mean like help? The billboards. They keep going out. Hey, the comparative data you secured from the train yard. I mean, those refugees, of course. It gave us something to think about. There's another report in the database for you to look at. So that little weasel picked a bunch of department stores to spread his little Black Friday surprise, and everyone knows Abel's. It might even be Amherst Ground Zero. We need to find an original, unmutated strain of the virus to compare with the mutations our patients have. And the only place to find them is on the original bills tainted with the original virus. <laughs>